welcome to a weekend vlog. I normally don't do these because weekends are typically the time when Gavin and I just relax or we do things around the house or we run errands around town. But this weekend he is gone. <laughs> he went on a youth retreat um, and so he, I'm by myself, it's just me and so. So this morning, um, Sophie and I, we got up, I did my devotions, drank my coffee, ate breakfast, and then we went to the dog beach. Sophie had the best time. I'll put some pictures somewhere on the screen. Um, she had the best time. She normally, like, she does not like the ocean, but she loves, like, watching all the other dogs and, like, looking at people as they come in. And it's the first time, like, I went to the beach by myself and I took her. Like, I've never been to the beach by myself or with her in general just us two so I was really nervous but she did a really good job I look like the crazy dog lady because I like was carrying her on my hip like not like she wasn't like holding me like a baby but I was carrying her on my hip and like putting her in the water because she just wasn't a huge fan but and then I felt so bad oh my gosh a huge wave like came over her and I just was <laughs> felt so bad but anyways it is 12 22 I just got home a little bit ago rinsed off all the sand that was on me and kind of cleaned out the car and got everything and got her all settled it's 12 20 I'm gonna eat some lunch I'm just gonna do like a light lunch on the way back from um the beach I went and got some soft serve chocolate ice cream I normally don't do that but I just wanted it so I went by and got it and it was so good just a little small container of it so for lunch I'm just gonna do a quick salad and then some yogurt with some granola and I'll show you what that looks like it's gonna be super simple but I do plan on working out at one o'clock I'm gonna like zoom with one of my friends and we're gonna do the Chloe Ting workouts together I am on day five of the Chloe Ting challenge I'm really liking it so far she like is kicking my butt but it's a good thing like I don't know I'm very anxious to see like how it all works out and I'm going to be doing a video of like my results and everything so keep your eyes peeled for that at the end of the month whenever I get done with the challenge so anyways I'm gonna make my lunch and show you that real quick so I started eating and totally forgot so this is um cherry yogurt and I found this granola at Aldi it's um chia seeds coconut and just granola it's so good and then I throw in some more chia seeds to add more fiber and then I just have like a simple romaine, cucumbers, and balsamic for my salad. Okay, I finished the day five Chloe Ting challenge and I feel good. I finished it like a couple minutes ago, so I'm not super sweaty. Um, I was whenever I got done and then I kind of chilled out for a moment. Um, but yeah, I finished it up and it went really well. Tomorrow's day six, so let's see how that goes. But yeah, I'm just going to relax for a little bit, hang out on the couch, hang out with Sophie for a bit. I'm just tired. I'm sure I'm tired from going to the beach and then also working out, but I'm glad that I did it.
Sunday and <laughs> I'm continuing to vlog. So last night, um, after I quit vlogging with you guys, I had a one of my um, old co-worker friends, um, so now she's just a friend, <laughs> she had, her mother-in-law is wanting to do VIP Kid. And so she called me and we talked about it for over an hour about VIP Kid and how it works um, and everything like that. And then after that, I had to get ready and um, I went to my friend's house and hung out with her family and I didn't get home until like 10 o'clock at night. But when I did get home last night, I did fold some laundry, I did some dishes, there's like a spoon in the sink from this morning, and I tried to like tidy up before I went to bed. And guys, that made like such a huge difference. Normally, like during the weekends, like we stay up and, you know, Gavin's home. So like we're hanging out and I feel like when I'm by myself, like I, not that I'm like more productive because I have been a lazy bum some days, but I do feel like, like it's okay. Like I feel okay staying up and cleaning because most of the time we go to bed together. Like I know there's couples that don't go to bed together and like one goes before the other, but like, I don't know. I feel normal when we're in bed together, so we don't, like, sleep at separate times. There's a couple of nights where I'm like, I'm going to stay up and watch TV, and even then it's, like, it's just strange. Anyways, so normally I don't stay up and, like, do the dishes and stuff. The last night I did, and it felt so good to wake up to a clean house. Um, you saw this morning that I listened to church. I made my bed. I threw on some laundry. I still have some folded towels. I didn't want to go to, like, the front of the house last night because... I'm a wimp and I like freak out. I don't know. <laughs> when you're by yourself, like, I'm just not very brave <laughs> around the house. So, I had to put those in the front bathroom. And then, um, yeah, so today, this morning, my plan is I have a lot of things on my to do list. I know I have to grocery plan. And then I also need to run by Target to pick up a couple things. And then I need to also look over my VIP kid lesson. So I'm teaching my very first class on Tuesday. Um, I've been with the company, I believe, for 25 days today, and on my 27th day, I'll teach my first class. So this weekend, I did change some things yesterday. I changed my profile picture. I updated my bio area. So I'm hoping that this week, I'll be able to get more bookings, but we are leaving on Thursday to go back to our hometown um, because my sister-in-law is pregnant, and so we are, you know, celebrating the 4th of July and also a baby shower. So yeah, this week's kind of a short week. But anyways, I'm going to look over my lesson today um, and try to understand it. Grocery plan, go to Target. And I think that's pretty much it. If I think of anything else, I'll let you know. Um, and I'm going to show you what I'm about to eat for like my breakfast. It's 1017. So all I've had today is a cup of coffee and I'm going to probably have a yogurt for breakfast this morning. is my yummy breakfast so this is just the Dana and light and fit cherry Greek yogurt I love the cherry I wish I could find like other name brands that had cherry I'm sure they're out there I just haven't really looked um, and this is the granola is from Aldi it's like a coconut chia granola it's so good and then I add more chia seeds for fiber and it's a really 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 good um, breakfast or like a snack it is my absolute favorite. So I'm gonna eat that while I put those towels where they go and look at my VIP kid lesson. And you might be thinking to yourself, Kaylee, why do you wear that rust color jacket all the time? And you live in Florida, like it's hot in Florida. Yeah, you're right, it is hot in Florida. And yeah, you're right, I do wear this like almost every day. I just throw it over like whatever t-shirt I'm wearing. Um, honestly, because when I go into any room in our house, most of the time the fan is on because we live in Florida and sometimes I like have it on high and I don't know, like I can be really cold during the day and we keep our house like at 77, but I just get cold. I don't know. 
anyways, that's just me and how I do things. But, um, yeah, I do wear this jacket all the time. And um, that's just part of it. So, now I'm in the office and I'm looking at VIP Kid. And I thought to myself, you know what? You should probably grocery plan. Because... If you don't grocery plan, it's going to be on the back of your mind while you're thinking of the VIP kid lesson because that's just how my brain works. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm checking in right now in VIP kid and seeing if I have anything booked for tomorrow. Um, I'm pretty sure that I don't. I'm pretty sure that I do not have anything booked tomorrow. Yeah, I don't. But they were short notices, so... I'm going to change them back. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to change them back to just available instead of short notice because I don't want to like, I don't know, I don't really feel, feel prepared enough to do a short notice class. So that is like within 24 hours a student can book or a parent can book you and you're expected to teach that lesson and it's up to an hour before class starts so like my one of my fears is, is like um i would wake up and have um like a class booked or something and not know the lesson and all that jazz so what i'm gonna do right now is um, I'm changing them to available, but I'm changing my Tuesdays to short notice. So that way, if a parent is booking on Monday afternoon, they can see that I have like a Tuesday short notice class opening, if that makes sense. So yeah, I'm going to, I'm changing that real quick. And then I'm going to actually grocery plan instead of doing VIP good stuff because it's going to be on the back of my mind, so I'm actually going to do that and not do VIP good. Okay, it's 12 o'clock, and I just got done, like, looking at the slides and trying to figure out, like, what I need and what's going on with everything. So, I printed off some stuff, and then I realized I don't have lamination pouches. And I guess you don't have to laminate your stuff, but, like, I want to laminate it, so I ordered some on Amazon, and then I also did some YouTube work. Um, I had a video that's uploading tomorrow, so I had to make a thumbnail for that, and just make sure, like, the description box was good to go. Um, so yeah, it's 12 o'clock. I'm not really hungry. I actually don't feel the best right now. Um, I'm just, like, really tired, and, like, it's my time, so I'm just, like, hurting and just tired, so... I think what I'm gonna do I'm texting my mother-in-law I think what I'm going to do is just like lay down um, I need to figure out what I'm gonna do for lunch I don't have any meat laid out well I have I do have ground turkey I guess I could make some like turkey tacos I'm just not like in the mood to cook anything do you ever get like that where you just don't want to cook anything? So, anyways, I think I'm good to go for my lesson. Um, the student that I'm teaching, she's like a level 2 unit 7 kid. So, I was looking at like the previous stuff. Um, there's like a video clip of her in her classroom. And she seems to be like really advanced. And so, I'm kind of like, okay, like I can use a little bit more like English language. Um... I don't know, like, I feel like since it's my first class, like, I can kind of get an idea, um, of, like, what to do, but, yeah, just talking about feelings, I'm gonna have to sing, I'm not a singer, but we'll see how this goes, but, yeah, okay, I'm gonna just relax, I do not feel good, and if there is, like, another update, I will let you guys know. <laughs>